Girl, at this point, honey, I don't care. These girls are grown, honey, okay? They out here in designer looking all cute, makeup all done, hair all done, outfit all done, girl. All right, so it was word around town that our Kelly girls, Jocelyn and the other one, that they was planning on k and themselves, okay? Because R. Kelly was in jail cell and they ain't know how they're going to live and how they're going to make it. Girl, all these rumors and lies, the girls came out and they cleared it, okay? Now listen, they grown as... They say they go in and out as they want to please. I'm not going to worry about these girls no more. We got other girls out here that's getting kidnapped every single day and nobody's looking for our black girls. That's steady being kidnapped, steady being in sex, you know, trafficking. I don't see Tim Savage or the other one, you know, worried about other girls. They're only concerned about this situation because they deal with their daughter. And they want everybody else to be concerned with their daughter. But what about these young girls that's underage, that's currently getting swept away, they ain't saying nothing about them, is they? Nope. And they, got, they ain't going to say nothing about them either, right? Yeah. Before we go in, make sure you guys like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gossip Girl XOXO. You know you love me. Yes, honey. And um, I want to know what y'all think about this. And another thing, okay, um, R. Kelly... They said the reason why he got busted because some people that was in his circle, yeah, they ratted him out. Uh-huh. They said they got the videos, and the videos tells the tale of R. Kelly doing the do with underage girls. Not just one, not two, but multiple tapes, they say, all right? But then, you know, the man on R. Kelly team, he talking about some of these tapes, these old tapes. Girl, I don't know. If you see R. Kelly on a tape with an underage, lock his ass up, okay? Period. Let's move on. Uh, it don't take all this, all right? So, girl, what do y'all think about this? Ain't it madness? Let's watch this commentary, and I'll be right back. We actually just read an article saying that um, we were evicted from the Trump and um, saying that, you know, we were under emergency living and all kinds of stuff like that. We just wanted to let you guys know that that is not true. We are here. We are at the Trump. Um, I'm going to show you guys actually our view um, so you guys can know it's real. Um, it's Grammys back there, you know, so um, yeah, we're here at the Trump. And um, we actually just read an article saying that um, we were evicted from the Trump. We're at the Trump, and um, you know, Joyce's parents are all over social media. Yeah, they they know where I'm at. Yeah, we've been here at the Trump. You know, we've been here for years. Um, we move freely. We come and go freely. We actually just left out this morning, and nobody said anything to us. You know, no one stopped us. No one, you know, harassed us or anything like that. So. Um, we just wanted to clear that up. We're at the Trump, and, um, you know, Joyce's parents are all of Robert's fans. Um, we see the support that you guys are showing him all over social media, Twitter, Instagram, everything. We see you guys going in, and we are just so thankful for the prayers, for the love, for the support, everything that you guys are yes. saying and doing and trying to do to help him. We are just so thankful for it, and we love you guys for it. Thank you so much. Robert. Girl, did y'all hear that? If y'all didn't hear that, I don't know if I'm going to play it or not, honey. But um, basically, they said that y'all need to mind y'all business. Jocelyn parents know who she is, but she on on the TV acting a fool. But I already told y'all he's doing that for clout. And I told y'all if I was Jocelyn, I wouldn't trust her parents either, okay? Yeah, all of them something else, girl. But at this point, shoot, they grown as hell. You know, I, I'm i tired of seeing Jocelyn and this other girl, okay? Give it a break. Let, I'm not worried about them. Listen, if they really want to get away... I don't know. All I can do is pray for him, all right? But uh, this being obsessive over these two, and um, I, I understand if their parents are obsessive, 
but it's just personal. It's just because it's their daughter. But I don't, I don't know. I don't follow them to know. But I haven't heard when that these two fathers are trying to free other girls. If you know other little girls is getting locked up, we listen. It's some get, kids getting kidnapped today, you know, and they getting kidnapped for real, for real. At a young age, we need to be focused on them. How many black women are being um? Missing and found on a milk carton and stuff. Yeah, girl. They they kidnapping left and right. You know? I don't see uh, those fathers having outrage about those other kids. They only concerned about their own damn daughters for their own damn reasons. Okay? And they grown as hell. And they keep on getting on video letting you know they all right. And leave them the hell alone. And they walking here and there. And they dressing this and that. You know? Shoot. I don't know, honey, okay? So, listen, I'm going to leave these girls alone, but let's go to uh, R. Kelly, all right? So, basically, y'all know he in the big house. We, we, we said that, bam, all right? So, yeah, girl, you see it here. R. Kelly, inner circle, turn in the sec, the, damn, the freaky tapes, all right? Don't want to say S-E-X. But, yeah, they said that... um. TMZ reports again. Now, TMZ is all over this R. Kelly case, ain't it? But um, they are saying that it was people that was inside R. Kelly's camp that had those videos and turned them over of multiple girls. Uh-huh. Doing a do-on video. Yeah, girl. And they said they're they going to get them this time. Y'all see the report right here. But um, let's go back. Mm-hmm. Girl, did you see that? Honey, you thought I was playing. They came on the screen ready for Miss Maybelline, right? They was here. They was looking good. They was all calm. They didn't get hysterical like Cardi B. <laughs> Listen, these girls are younger than Cardi B, but they know how to get on here and act accordingly and not be on here why y'all always gotta talk about me like i'm suicidal while i'm doing this and i'm doing that i ain't mean to say the s word but why you know what i'm saying i need y'all to shut the a, a they don't do all this they come on very classy they dress like nice young ladies they speak well they're very calm Work it, all right? So I ain't going to worry about y'all. Y'all do what y'all want to do, all right? Huh. So comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Do you think these girls are just acting for the camera? If they do, y'all doing a good job. And whoever your coach is need to get into this. Hey, they need to teach all these girls how to come on camera. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, whoever your coach, if you guys are acting... Is a great coach, all right? But comment, let us know what you guys think about this. I am Miss Gigi, Gossip Girl, XOXO. You know you love me. And make sure you like, share, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.